Hello and welcome to or welcome back to the channel. My name is Mel and I am a knitter and crafter living on the Orkney Islands off the north coast of Scotland. And normally I have a knitting podcast and this is one of those kind of extra topical videos that I have from time to time. This one we're kind of going to be um, harking back to or zooming back in time back to and pretending it's 2017 when uh, Kristen of Vullenbine did a knit along, a sock along actually, it was called the Box of Socks or Box of Socks um, back in 2017 and it ran for I don't know two or three years but it still seems to be um, something that people still like to do on occasion. Back in 2017 I was um, I don't even know if I'd knit my first pair of socks back then but if I had I was very new to sock knitting and it was certainly not something that I would consider doing I just didn't think it was possible but I have knit a lot of socks since those days and this year I decided as part of my reducing down my yarn stash which I have been doing I was doing last year and this year as well is I really need to get through some of my sock yarn and although I've nearly always got a pair of socks on the needles this year I wanted to kind of focus on as well as my garment knitting that I always have on the go is focus on trying to get through at least one pair of socks each month and putting them to one side in a box and I haven't chosen the box yet I have one in mind but I'm not sure if it's going to be big enough but when they're knit, putting them into a box and putting them aside and come around December or Christmas I can have a whole box of brand new socks for myself and it'll be almost like a Christmas present to myself. So today I wanted to talk about which yarns I'm planning on using for my box of socks um, that I will be working through the year and I kind of have certain sock yarn in mind for certain months and then through the summer kind of less a bit more loose and kind of choose from this selection kind of thing so that is what i'm going to be talking about today i have a range kind of going on beside me and i have a few patterns mostly vanilla socks but there are a few patterns i would like to do as well and i will touch on those when i get to them so we're already into January and I should probably get on with my first pair but I did want to record this video first and also I was waiting for a new yarn caker to arrive and it arrived today so I can cake up this yarn once I finish recording. So January I had a hard time between choosing between this skein and another one that I think I'm going to leave towards the back of the year. But the skin I decided to use was this one that I got from Felt Fusion. It is a very multicoloured yarn. The yarn there, like I said, is Felt Fusion. If it will focus on the label. Felt Fusion in the colourway Heart on Your Sleeve. And this is an unusual base. This is one I've not used before. Um, I was searching a couple of years ago for some sock yarn bases um that were on the woollier side like a commercial sock yarn but what were, were indie dyed i did find a couple of dyers this one and another dye which i'll come to later on and this base is a 60 percent superwash x mirror blue face 20 percent superwash corridale 10 percent nylon and 10 percent a name i never remember never know how to pronounce 10% Zwobbles. I don't think it's pronounced like that. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Zwartbles or Zwartbles. Anyway, <laughs> that's what it is. So it is not merino, which I prefer not to have for a sock yarn because it's not hard wearing enough. And it's got a lovely woolly feel. It feels almost like a woolen spun yarn. <clears throat> It's got that wooliness about it. It's very much like a commercial sock yarn, but a bit softer. So I'm looking forward to knitting this up and I'm also looking forward to finding out how well it holds up um, to being used as socks. I think I'm going to do a contrast toes and heels in a sort of a mid blue, more along the, somewhere between the royal blue and the light blue on this. I do have one in mind. I just didn't 
pulling out the drawer when uh, I came to record. Um, but that is the plan for January. Now February I'm torn. I am torn between using either this gorgeous yarn that I bought from the Edinburgh Wool Festival many many years ago from the Knitting Goddess and the base is a 75% Superwash Blueface Lester, 25% more hair, so there's no nylon in it, in the colourway Ruby. So I have this, but I also have this in Screaming Red. It is red. It is the colourway Rudolph from Head Over Heels, but it's the Head Over Heels range of Stylecraft. And this yarn is so red, like, like, it is children's sweater red and it doesn't go with any of my other yarns for a contrast. I have used it so there's a little bit gone from this but it is very 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 red so I think it needs to be knit on its own and I plan to knit a pair of lacy socks, well socks with a lace panel up with hearts, lacy hearts I do have a couple of patterns in mind. I have my laptop and queue open here. There is a pattern called the Romantical Socks by Megan Schmaltz and there is one called Heart Lace Socks by Mary Hoff. I think one is a top and one is a top down and I don't remember which one is which. So I will choose the lace pattern just the just the just the lace chart and I will just insert it into my regular vanilla taupe sock pattern that I do so there will either be this lovely semi-solid mm, dark pinky purple uh, or the screaming red I suspect the lace will probably show up more on this rather than this because it has a little bit of halo but I will do a little tiny swatch and see what I think and once we're out of February for March I'm going to go for a more spring like yarn and I'm planning on this one we're struggling with the focus today and the light we have very low winter light today and my camera keeps wanting to focus on that plant behind me that plant is not fierce Look, look here, not at the plant. Um, it is this gorgeous variegated green yarn with pink and almost a bluey green in there. It's really, really interesting. And this yarn is another Knitting Goddess yarn, bought at the same time, and it is a 75% superwash BFL, 25% nylon. So kind of a standard sock base. And because it's so variegated, I'm planning on just vanilla socks with these. I may even throw in maybe some contrast. I did buy this and a skein of green in the same base and this all together so they could all coordinate together. So I could use 20 grams of this or 25 grams of this to make contrast for this. That'd be quite nice. Or the green, because I do have another green skin. So... That means into March, and then we're almost getting at the summer skins. But I also do have this one, which is quite almost spring like. And I have forgot to bring the label with me, but I will have a quick look on my Ravelry here. It is Rico Design Super Bar Vintage in the colourway number five. And this is left over from knitting a pair of licorice all sorts socks for my husband. And I did black contrast toes and heels for that. So I'm hoping to do a contrast in possibly a pink or a blue. Depending what I have in stash and what I think looks nice with it. But once we get into the summer, I haven't got any fixed months to fix yarn. So they're all kind of summary as such. So I have a few ideas. First of all I have this yarn, this rainbow yarn from West Yorkshire Spinners in the colourway Rum Paradise and I bought this because when I had 
when I had, when I was, focus, when I was a child, I had a pair of leg warmers that were light blue and then in the center was this rainbow section. And I was planning on making either a pair of leg warmers, the same, or to make a pair of socks where the ankle section kind of recreated that effect, which I think is what I'm going to do. So what I plan to do is use the West Yorkshire Spinners uh, four ply weight in, I think it's um, Blueberry Bonbon, this one, um, to knit a fingering weight sock. And then once you get past the ankle, switching to a DK weight with a larger needle, so it becomes much wider and slouchier like a pair of leg warmers and make the rainbow section like a pair of leg warmers. Probably double up the fingering weight for a small length and then the rainbow section and then the cuff in the blueberry bonbon. So there'll be kind of like a hybrid socks, leg warmers thing going on. I also have this yarn, which I do have the label somewhere. Where is that label? I have project bags and labels and such like everywhere but for some reason I can't find the one I want. I did have it somewhere. Anyway, this yarn is another one by Felt Fusion and it is a BFL nylon and it is in the colorway Pink Chakra and Back and I bought this several years ago um, and I've just been waiting to cast on pair of socks again I don't know if I'm going to be doing I'm assuming I will do vanilla socks for this because it is so highly variegated um, and I'm not sure how long the color repeats are uh, I, I let's have a look shall we let's have a quick look where's the end let's untangle it so purples that's there oh they're very short so it's got purple then into green then into yellow so it's going to be highly variegated so yes these will need to be vanilla socks but i also have this yarn left over from knitting my husband a pair of socks several years ago and it is this like it it i i call this the tiger feet yarn and it's not it's uh Svergagan Opal Schaff I can't pronounce that it's too much German for me it is in the colorway Hannah it is by Opal Schaff yeah it's by Opal and I do have enough left for another pair of socks with contrast toes and heels so that is another option and then I also have this yarn, which is the other one I was talking about earlier, about having different yarn bases than your traditional merino or bam, merino or blue paste Leicester. This one is by Siobhan's Crafts. And here is her logo. There we go. And it is in the colorway Orange Popping Candy. And the base is 85% Superwash Polworth. 15% nylon and I love it it's so bright and zingy I have knit a pair of socks in the same base in the colorway gingerbread house and they are holding up really nicely really happy with how they're holding up the Polworth um like when you spin with Polworth yarn which I love spinning with Polworth it's definitely a woollier yarn it's I would say not as, I don't know, on a par with Blue Face Leicester maybe, but it's woollier. Softness wise, it's on the, on a par with Blue Face Leicester. But it's definitely got a woollier texture, more like a commercial sock yarn. But obviously indie dyed and very pretty. If you can hear some rumblings and scrapings. My husband is upstairs, well he's up and down from the attic. So he's making some noises. And closing the attic door. Once we're getting into the late of autumn, I'm thinking beachy, sandy kind of a feel. So I have a couple of yarns that I bought not long ago. They are both Drops Fable. One of them 
is more of a brownish colour, brown and tans, and the other one is green and tans. And I think this one is green long print and this one is brown long print or something along those lines. But the colourways are 651 and 650. And I have a skin of 101 in the same base and it is just like a, a mid beige as contrast toes and heels for either or both of these. Heading into the autumn months and we're looking at a little bit more patterns and textures going on. I have a couple of kind of autumny ones. So I've had this and if you in my queue and if you've been around here you'll have noticed these patterns a couple of times and I haven't yet knit them but I plan on using this colour of Drops Fable 110 this time um, I think it's called Rust and using it for a little hocus pocus socks by this handmade life and doing green dark green contrast toes heels and cuffs for that and it is a cable design sock it has a panel of cabling down like one side is it down the front no it's down one side of the front the other one is using this variegated autumn sock yarn which is super vintage again like the like this one but autumn colors gorgeous autumn colors this way this one is colorway number 003 and this one i'm just checking my queue is the cozy autumn socks by this handmade life again i think the i don't know if they're both free patterns or maybe one of them is a free pattern i'm not sure i think they might be both free patterns um but that is the plan for autumn months so september maybe August because our autumn starts in August in Orkney but those those kind of months before Halloween before October and into November because in October I would like to knit a second pair of socks using this skein of yarn I only have 50 grams I think I have 51 grams of this yarn left and it is gorgeous this is dyed by um, Marcus of uh, Fiberpunk and it is in the colourway Alpha Bars Knickers and it is in Merino Nylon and it is gorgeous and I made a pair of socks not this past October but the one before that and I did contrast heels and toes and cuffs in a semi-solid black this year I'm not sure if I maybe go with something different maybe a purple or a Maybe it's a bright green or orange. I'm not sure, but I, I might do a different colour. I might change my mind on that. I might do black anyway, but I might do a different colour. But I want to use up the rest of this yarn um, so that I have two pairs. And then we're into Christmas knitting. Now, I have a lot of Christmas sock yarns, so this is definitely subject to change. <laughs> but the current plan is to knit either or both vanilla socks in more West Yorkshire spinners this one is in the colorway candy cane and I already have a pair of socks knit in this with a lacy uh, spiral design but I plan to do vanilla socks and the first pair I used was this screaming red because it is the only this is the only sock yarn that I have that this will go with but I'm thinking of perhaps just a undyed yarn this time, just to showcase the candy stripes themselves. And the other skein is covered in my hair, but it is another, actually I have a lot of felt fusion here today. It is another one by felt fusion in this gorgeous, gorgeous cozy colorway. I love this colorway. It is vintage Christmas, and it is a high twist superwash merino nylon sock yarn and the reason I kind of 
decided against, I think against using this in January is because I do have a pair of socks I currently have on the needles that I want to get finished and it is a merino nylon. And when I do merino nylon socks, I like to do a slip stitch ball of the heel. And just now I've started doing just before the heel with a slip stitch as well, because they tend to wear out very easily in those places with the merino yarn. And because I already have a pair of socks I'm trying to finish off with those slip stitches, and which really annoy me and take for, feel like they take forever and they just bug me. Um, I wanted a pair of just plain vanilla knitting that I could just mindlessly knit, hence this yarn. Whereas this one, I will need to do the slip stitches again. But I love this yarn. I've had this yarn for a fair amount of time. Um, how long have I had this yarn? Some of these yarns I've had for quite a long time. Um, this one I bought, I think along with the other Felt Fusion one actually. Um, I've had since 2019. So it is well overdue. Oh my goodness, that's five years ago. Near enough because it's 2024. So I bought that, not at the same time as this, because this I haven't had so long, but I bought this at the same time as this one, I think. So I've had some of these yarns for quite a long time, and I think, how long have I had the ones from Edinburgh? Because I've only been to one Edinburgh yarn festival, and it was very crowded and overwhelming. Um, I did get some nice yarns there. That was 2018 as well. No, 2018. That's six years ago. So some of these yarns I've had for quite a long time. They're definitely overdue being knit. So that is my box of socks knitting plans for this year. I'm hoping to get through as many as possible. Tw a minimum of 12 would be brilliant. I'm hoping, aiming to get at least one pair a month finished. I did knit quite a lot of socks in November, December this year, through necessity mostly. Um, so I know it's possible, especially with the vanilla socks. So uh, yeah, it's just fitting them in amongst all the sweaters I also want to knit this year. So I'm going to leave this video for this week here. Um, because I don't want to make this video too long. And I will update during my regular podcast and I will do an up, at least one update video. Definitely one at the end of the year. We shall see how we're going maybe halfway through the year. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.